I believe that many significant discoveries are going to be made before this. And during the 18 years until the return of the vapor canopy in Phoenix, I believe that a significant amount of the human population are going to be aware that, look, as soon as this Phoenix event occurs, then people are going to wake up and say, okay, you know what? Everything that we've been told, maybe the archaics research, maybe I'll be gone. I don't, I don't know. I just have this, I don't even want to get into it. But when the, when the May, when the mid-May Phoenix event occurs, people are going to, they're going to wake up and they're like, oh, you know what? Shit. Everything came to pass as said, because I've been publishing this stuff since 2003, about, about May, about May 2040 and November 2046. This isn't something, and this isn't some novel research in the past two or three years. No, my research has been published and goes back way. It goes back a long time. I have never changed the dates because I can't. It's in the holography. The holography goes back thousands of years. You can't change that. So, uh, when this occurs, people will wake up and say, you know what? We got to go. We got to go. We have got to get the hell out of North America because every single thing this guy has said throughout the entire ancient past and documented, we didn't take seriously. Now, all of a sudden, Vapor Canopy's back. Uh, we just, well, we're getting reports because there's no more satellites, no more satellite communications, whether satellites exist or not. There's no more telecommunications. There's no more internet. There's no more any of these things. But there's whispers coming through. People are still on Cessnas and Apaches and, and the little, little twin engine aircraft. And there's and there's rumors filtering in. Three and four months after the Phoenix episode occurs, there's rumors coming in in North America. And what's what what, what we're hearing now in 2041 and in 2042 is that Asia was obliterated. The Phoenix just devastated everything. As this news spread, I believe that my Chronicon, which is my life project, which I don't give a damn if I'm, a, if I'm dead the day after it's published and distributed to everywhere it needs to go. My life passion is to get my Chronicon out, to get it totally written and distributed in steel boxes. Because when the, when the vapor canopy returns and when Phoenix returns in, in May, 20, May 2040, then maybe people will wake up and realize, okay, well, you need to be prepared for 2046. 2046, better be prepared for 2052, better be better be prepared for 2061, better be prepared, Isaac Newton wrote about that, uh, better be prepared for 2070, the beast kingdom, the return of the seven, the seven kings, uh, the new society that is now openly admitting that they are siding with the Demiurge and the return of the chief cornerstone. Man, all this stuff, man, I believe that the mass migrations from North America are going to be done by people who are acting with intelligence because they now have accepted the paradigm. And they say, okay, well, look, Phoenix happened. It was predicted. Some some weird ball-headed ex-con a long time ago predicted all this. His books and his writings are all over. We've, we, we've watched his videos. They, they, we, people have done study groups. Uh, we don't know anything about him, but we know that he predicted all this. And he said that 5.6 years afterward, the Western world will meet a far worse fate than the Asia ever did. Because when the Nemesis X object appears, appears, it's not going to be discriminating like Phoenix was. It's going to take out all of North America, most of Central America. Now, that's a... Uh, I believe that's what Nostradamus is referring to because in the time between the two cataclysms that Nostradamus is referring to in which he dated, according to Mario reading in the date index, for 2040 and 2046. These are the exact dates of Nostradamus in, in his codified date index that I've published and shown for anybody to see. In between that, Nostradamus sees mass migrations of, of Westerners going back to the old world, which is a repetition of history of the Amuru who left North America after an impact event, and they arrived throughout the Mediterranean ports in fleets, and they and they established they established Tyr, they established Sidon, they established Philistia, they established established the ancient Israelite states, they established the Hurrian states, they established Urarshu, they built a capital city to rule the entire area of the Near East, and they called it Mari. These people were called the Amuru, the Westerners. They were, like I've already described them to you, they are found in the Egyptian racial portraits on the Egyptian temple of Karnak. Perfectly show these people, the Westerners. They established the Ittite dynasty of Anatolia. They established, they established the fifth 
the fifth dynasty of Babylon, and they they uh, they basically empowered Amraphel, who was already ruling, and changed his name to Amurabi, or Amurapi, whichever culture you want to uh, emulate. So, um, these Westerners they took over. They took over. We know them. These are like the Americans of the ancient world. They're Westerners. They're Caucasians. We know them in the biblical material as the Amorites, and the Jews hated them. But uh, that's another story. Let's move around. History repeats itself. All this has happened before. 